Welcome, today we're going to look at the RTV Tools Exporter Pro for Revit 2015. After installation, all RTV Tools uh, plugins can be found on the RTV Tools ribbon within the Revit interface. Clicking on here will display any RTV Tools that have been installed. The Exporter Pro comes with um, some shortcut icons. Uh, these shortcut icons allow you to quickly access just the current view or sheet, um, all sheets and not the views, uh, or all views and no sheets. Clicking on the main icon will load the getting started splash screen where you can watch videos um, and training tutorials and access our wiki help. If you don't want to see this again, just untick the show at startup um, icon just there. Once the exporter has been loaded, the uh, user interface itself is quite dynamic. You can stretch it around um, to suit. The, it's broken into two tabs for the Revit Sheets and Revit Views. Um, just clicking on those will switch between. And the interface itself is quite dynamic. Um, each of the column headers can be sorted independently uh, and the columns themselves can be dragged and reorientated to to suit your needs. Right clicking over any column header allows you to access the shortcut menu. On here is the column chooser which will allow you to access any new parameters that may be required um, simply dragging and dropping any of those parameters um, will add or remove them from the interface. The column uh, headers are also quite dynamic with filtering. Uh, typing in any kind of text will filter the interface uh, dynamically and you can gr group um, by these columns just by dragging and dropping them into the column header so you can group by say sheet name. And that applies for views as well, um, so that they both filter the same way. The interface has a ribbon uh, with commands and functions on it, very similar to Revit. Uh, the export um, icon will allow you to export to a file format, including PDF. Uh, selecting a sheet, you can export to DWF, DWG, PDF, IFC, export drafting views to project files, DGN. On, if you select a 3D view and click export, um, you get a couple of extra ones, uh, NWC and FBX uh, become available with 3D model views. Selecting any kind of sheets, um, you can access the print dialog, um, within the exporter you can print to two printers at once uh, just by enabling the printer and selecting the printer that you would like to use and setting whether you want to collate or reverse order and the number of copies. The two printers could be uh, the same but printing in different size uh, output formats or they could be different printers. Try not to print to PDF, uh, use export to PDF to take advantage of the file uh, naming uh, features that we have in our export to file um, dialog. In the 2015 version of Exporter we added uh, revision functionality and you can add and re remove revisions across one or multiple sheets. The, at the top here we've got uh, revision stamps. Revision stamps allow you to apply a, a commonly used annotation to one or multiple revisions at once. Um, simply highlight the sheets you would like to apply a revision to, click apply and the revision is added. To add a new revision just click add new and to add a stamp just apply the stamp from the drop down and revisions can be added to multiple sheets again. The revision settings uh, can be set per project um, or per sheet and the ability to add additional stamps is also here. You can add and delete the stamps as well as your arc length for your revision clouds and new alpha 
alphabetic uh, sequence for your revisions just by clicking on the, um, the sheet icon there. Saving sheet sets and view sets uh, for quick access later on is uh, just a matter of highlighting the sheets and click, clicking the save sheet set and we can give it a name. Once the name has been set you can go back and clear and set the uh, saved sheet sets. Deleting the sh save sheet set is as simple as um, clicking on one and just deleting it. Saving and loading of filters. If, if a filter has been added or created, um, maybe it's 103, we can save that as a view filter. Uh, that will save it out to a um, XML file that can be restored later by using the load filter functionality. That becomes really handy when you're doing batch processing or scheduled tasks later on. You may want to create a filter that looks for any NWC files. The parameters that are associated with the user interface can be um, defined on startup. So define parameters and the next time the exporter starts you'll define the parameters. You can load the previously used parameters or you can choose not to load any additional parameters uh, or load all parameters. Clicking on the parameters icon will load the parameters dialog um, and we can select to load any view or sheet parameters that may be present in the, the project file. Then check for updates. Uh, we'll scan for our um, website to see if there's any issued updates. The proxy server will allow you to um, bypass any proxy servers that might be on your internal network. You can configure that so you can get outside and see our um, servers for any updates. The licensing um, will take you to our, our licensing terms and conditions for the software. And the email settings. The email settings uh, are important for the batch processing and the scheduling of tasks. So you can set yourself uh, and get an email uh, once the tasks have done um, and been completed, especially if they're running overnight. And then a link back to YouTube um, to watch any training videos. The batch process, task scheduler and task log icons uh, allow these fly out menus to fly out from the side um, and these are used to configure any uh, scheduled tasks, view any task logs um, and to configure the batch process. Each of these flyouts could be pinned to the interface by clicking the little pin there and um, each of them have their own settings and icons at the bottom. So task logs um, have a, a view log file so if there's any task logs and you can, can view the task log. The task scheduler you can create a scheduled task, edit a scheduled task, delete a scheduled task and on the batch process save a batch process, load a batch process and run a batch process. The work sharing options are applicable for any batch processes or um, scheduled tasks where you can specify how you want to interact with any central files, whether you want to archive a central file prior to exporting, overwrite one, uh, create local copies, uh, specify how folders might be created um, including the date format, um, replace any invalid characters in the file names, Preserve your work sets if you want to detach from central or discard the work sets. And if you're dealing with work sets, open all work sets, last viewed, edit, edited work sets or um, any specified work sets. So there's a lot of functionality uh, around how work sets operate and shared uh, central files. Clicking on the, the little exit button down here will allow you to just exit the uh, application. You can also click on the little cross up here. 
and that's a quick overview of the Exporter Pro for Revit 2015. Um, stop back um, to view more videos on the individual exporting, printing and batch processing tools um, at our website. Thanks for coming.